hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to solve weekly contest 409 question number one before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it for more solutions related to weekly contest so now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so we are going to solve problem number one design neighbor some service okay so in this problem you are given a n into n 2d array grid containing distinct elements in the range okay so only distinct elements are there okay so we have to implement the neighbor sum class so one class is given to us in another code okay and in this uh, neighbor sum class uh, this first uh, method neighbor sum int grid in this we are go just going to initialize the object in uh, the next method int adjacent sum int value it is going to return the sum of elements which are adjacent neighbors of a value okay so they are going to give us some value okay so let's say our value is present at this uh, position okay so all the elements are distinct only okay so for this value we have to find our top value our left value our right value and our bottom value okay and we have to just do the sum of all them okay that's it and then uh, we have one more method int diagonal sum int value it is going to return the sum of elements which are diagonal neighbors of value okay so let's say this is a value okay so one this one diagonal this one this one this one okay so we have to just return the diagonal sum okay for all the values which are adjacent to this uh, particular uh, value okay diagonal neighbors of value that is added to the top left top right bottom left bottom right of value in the grid okay so i hope that you guys are clear okay so now see this example so first uh, this is my input given to us okay and this is a grid okay so here see neighbor sum okay so that simply means we are just going to initialize our grid then adjacent sum okay so uh, for adjacent sum we have to find right so here what is the value given to us for the adjacent sum okay so that's what we need to find so here adjacent neighbors of one okay adjacent neighbors of one are zero two and 4 so 0 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 okay so here we are just returning uh, in the my output if you see we are just returning 6 for neighbor sum we are just uh, doing null and then again uh, again we are calling urgent sum okay so now we have to find the adjacent numbers for this 4 okay so for this 4 uh, if I want to find adjacent uh, sum so I have to just do the addition of 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 so 7 plus 5 is nothing but 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 3 16 so that is why I am returning 16 here then if we want to let's say we want to calculate the diagonal uh, diagonal sum okay so diagonal sum for which value so these are the values right these are diagonal sum we have to find the 4 okay so diagonal sum of 4 are 1 uh, 0 diagonal sum right so for 4 0 2 6 and 8 okay 6 8 plus 6 uh, 14 2 uh, 16 16 right so here we are writing 16 then last value is 8 8's diagonal sum okay so see here first this neighbor sum now for this neighbor sum this is the grid given to us that we need to initialize then we have to find the adjacent sum of 1 then adjacent sum of 4 then diagonal sum of 4 then diagonal sum of 8 and this is my output okay so i hope that this is clear how input is given to us right so in this way in the end we have to find the diagonal sum of 8 so 8 8's diagonal sum is just 4 so i'm just returning 4 okay that's it so now let's move to the coding part okay so uh, we are using this grid right and we are going to take one variable int n to store the length okay so after that this is the first uh, method okay private public uh, neighbor sum int grid okay so in this i'm just going to initialize uh, the my grid okay this uh, object and i'm just going to calculate the length of my grid array okay so here i have uh, stored the value of n okay so now this is the next uh, adjacent sum okay to calculate the sum so initially my sum is zero then i am going to iterate over the grid to find the specified value okay so we have to find the specific value right since all the values in my grid are distinct only distinct elements so it is easy now so just search for that particular value and if i find that value okay so let's say if grid i of j is equal to value then we need to find the adjacent sum so that means the premise top bottom left and right of this value okay so this is what we need to do then i am going to check now so let's say this value is present at this index i and j okay so here if i want to go to the top then i have to check if my i minus one is greater than equal to zero only in that case i'm just going to add this in sum okay if i move 
to the bottom then i have to check if i plus one okay so this is i zero i one two okay so i plus one is less than n then i have to find the sum like this then j minus one if I move to the left, I have to see now whether this index is available or not. Okay, so in this way, we are just going to add the values in my sum, and in the end, we are just going to return sum. Easy, right? Then same before the diagonal sum, same code. Initially, initialize sum as zero. Then we are going to iterate over the grid to find the specified value. Then once the value is found, then I have to check the diagonal elements. So top left. So if I move to the top left, okay. So this value, let's say this value is i j. Okay. So if I'm moving to the top left, that simply means i minus 1 and j minus 1. So this should be there now. That is why I'm checking this condition. i minus 1 is greater than 0, greater than equal to 0, and j minus 1 should be greater than equal to 0. Then I am to add it in sum. Okay. Same way, same code, just like my adjust sum. Okay. So in the end, we are just going to turn sum. Okay. So I hope that you guys are clear with the question number one of weekly contest. If you need the solution for the question number two, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you. Bye bye.